So the question is, well, how is Justin Jefferson going to fit in this offense? From his mouth to our ears, quote, pretty much where Cooper Cup was at is where I'm at. And that stood out to me because last season on the Vikings, Justin Jefferson spent just 25% of his snaps in the slot compared again to Cooper Cup's around 64%. And the A dot was about four yards different. So if we get more volume from, for Justin Jefferson, that again can get us to this number two overall wide receiver territory, and maybe even number one. I think there's a chance that he's going to be the consensus best wide receiver in the NFL this year. I think that's the trajectory that he's on. What makes him so different is he led the position in 15 plus air yard targets last year by a wide margin, like third mm. places at like 42 targets downfield. Justin Jefferson was up at 53 and he's just so dynamic. Like you said, if he's going to be playing more of the slot, maybe he gets a couple more layup targets. And I think just in general, um, even like the target share, all that stuff uh, stays where it is. I think with just the entire team is going to be passing more. Get rid of Zimmer, who is super old school. Bring in somebody that was learning under Sean McVay. I think you're going to see more 11 personnel. You're going to see more pass attempts in general. And the defense, while it's still okay, it's not as elite as it was a couple of seasons ago. So I think Justin Jefferson is locked up uh, top two for me. I think that there's a tear break potentially even after him. I think that Justin Jefferson could easily be the wide receiver one overall this year. Ooh. And he even called this offense now a past first unit, which yep. is music to our ears. What stood out to me because high value targets are a real thing. He had just 20 targets inside of the 20 last season. That was 17 fewer than our wide receiver one, the wide receiver one last season in Cooper Cup. Again, it was such a massive difference to have Cup on your team. 70 points, like the greatest basically wide receiver season ever in fantasy football history. I don't think the gap's going to be that different. And I think Kirk Cousins, because you have to say, like, you need to be attached to a really good quarterback for this to happen. From your eyes, is, is Kirk Cousins good enough to support yes. these? number one wide receiver in fantasy football definitely like we mad at, we're mad at him because he throws like a pathetic interception like randomly but he's super accurate and he's an aggressive passer i think he, of course he is like look at l last year's Jeff justin jefferson numbers i think that we're going to be repeating that with a chance for maybe 10 percent more just because i'm expecting the offense just to not be slow paced and run heavy like those days are for sure going to be behind us what happens if adam Thielen misses some more time again so um yeah i'm all in Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for that. But if you're new here and not subscribed, now's the perfect time to do so. You must have enjoyed it. You're here at the end, just with me and you. So hit subscribe, hit thumbs up, whatever else you want to do. Check out what we have already on the channel by hitting one of these things, or you'll be notified and you'll see it whenever we post something new.